So today we're gonna to talk about what a pop-up shop is and how you can start using pop-ups in your home bakery business. So a pop-up shop is not like a farmer's market where you can Google farmer's markets in my area. This is something where most of the time you need to meet with a shop owner and plan together. It's not like a pre-existing thing that you can just go to and sign up for, usually. Some shops in bigger cities have pop-ups regularly where they go and find vendors and bring them in. But most places, smaller towns, they don't even know what pop-ups are. So you have to go and you have to plan it with the owner and make like your own event for the pop-up. And when you talk about it with them, you wanna talk about it from their perspective and how it would benefit them. Not from, hey, can I do a pop-up in your shop? It would really help my business grow but hey, can I do a pop-up in your shop? I think a lot of your customers would really like the product I have, and I think a lot of the customers that will come in for my baked goods would really like your products. So they can see it as something that will benefit them and not just a random person coming in and selling baked goods at their store. So another good way to do it, if you have, this is why having your Instagram page and your website and stuff looking good is so important because this will only work if that's the case. If you have an Instagram page just extremely unprofessional and you can't really tell what you're selling and the photos don't look good, this is gonna be hard. But if you have a good, well-branded Instagram page or social media page and a good website and it looks really professional, this can really work. So if you already have some customers and some followers, make a post on your Instagram page about, hey, I wanna start doing some pop-ups where would you like to see me do a pop-up, tag them here. So then they will be able to see, these people want this vendor to do a pop-up here, maybe I'll get some new customers from this. This is another good one if you've already done some pop-ups or you've done some farmer's markets, but if you have kind of solid stats about how many people came out to your market or how much was sold at the last pop-up you did and you can show a shop owner that, that's gonna be really beneficial. Like if you can go to a shop owner down the road and, and say, hey, last time I did a pop-up at this place, we had 400 people come in. Do you wanna do a pop-up? Is there some time where you have a day where it would be good for me to come in and do a pop-up? Because a shop owner is rarely gonna turn that down. They see, okay, 400 people coming into my shop that I don't already have as customers. And like I was saying in this other video, it's very important that you do most of the marketing ahead of time. You need to make sure if you wanna do this again, especially at this location, that you are getting a lot of customers coming in on your own and you're not just depending on their customers that are already gonna be there. But if you can do some of those techniques I taught you about in the other video and get like a line formed at your pop-up shop, you're gonna have that shop owner asking you to come back again and again. And this is really good, like I mentioned in this video, to schedule a regular place that your customers can find you. So if you're not doing farmer's markets or something like that, if you do a pop-up once a week or once a month at one specific location, that can be really good for you and your customers so they know where you are every month. Eventually, you can find other vendors that complement your baked goods or whatever you're selling, and you guys can sell at the same place at the same pop-up so maybe you do a pop-up every month at this one location and you and two or three other vendors are also in that location selling. So it's like a big thing every month. That's gonna bring a ton of people for all of you. So if you have another vendor that you know that you collaborate with really well and complements whatever you're selling, Talk to them about this. Maybe you can do theme days. Maybe you can do special events for holidays, but make connections with other vendors. And if you have a couple that you know you'll do really well with, approach a shop owner with that and show them how many people all of you will bring in to their shop. So if this sounds overwhelming, if you think I need so much help with this, go to the link in the description. I have a program called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you work with me for 12 months to grow your home bakery business. Okay, love you, bye.